Well, that's of course the big question in in uh, in philosophy, and, and uh, traditionally, philosophers have worried about to what extent we have access to so-called mind-independent reality. You know, do, do we have as because philosophy is very concerned also with certainty. Do we know reality, and 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 how can we justify our beliefs about reality? And 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 uh, one strong tradition says that there is this a sense in which the human mind uh, constructs whatever we experience. And and for example, Kant, Immanuel Kant, would would say that that uh, we we do not directly know reality as it in, as it is in itself. That somehow. We, we uh, whatever you know, we are always dealing with with the so-called phenomenal world, which we party ourselves construct, and and so this is this is one very strong line in in Western philosophy. There's a kind of skepticism toward us being able to know external reality, but then there is also uh, m something that's more known as realism, where not only do we assume that there exists a reality independently of of the human mind. But also that we can have knowledge about it, not perfect knowledge, but but uh, knowledge perhaps approximate that approximates it. So, so I mean, of course, the whole question of reality is, is a very big one in, in philosophy, and and, uh, and and so that that's the uh, that those are some of those basic alternatives. And uh, of course, today more and more philosophers think that uh, science, and perhaps natural science in particular, is the best guide to telling us what the nature of reality is.